Hi friends, recently I published a video with the process of assembling the simplest portable device for contact welding of batteries. The material turned out to be very relevant and in the first 10 days it had almost 50,000 viewers. One of the main questions that I was asked was the choice of the batteries. Is it possible to connect batteries with a different voltage, for example a car battery? The second question was about the field effect transistors management system, which was built on the basis of a relay. A link to the mentioned video can be found in the description. Today I will show you an alternative circuit without a relay, and we will see how well it will work and whether it will work at all if it is powered by a car battery. But, as my experimental car battery quietly survives its last days before recycling, I will use the battery from an uninterruptible power supply. Such batteries can long time work with currents of 20 to 25 amperes and for a short time period several hundred, but is this enough? For connections I use the standard copper wire for 6 squares. By the way, batteries from uninterruptible devices come with narrow and wide terminals. It is desirable to use batteries with wide terminals. The wires and the terminals will heat up during operation. It's fair to say that all the power lines, including tracks on the PCB, are heated, despite the fact that they are abundantly filled with solder and additionally reinforced. With a battery of 9 amperes hours works pretty well. Let's just say a little bit better than with lithium polymer batteries which was previously installed. Due to the greater current of the battery we can reduce the welding time thereby obtaining beautiful not overheated points. Next I took the second same type battery and connected in parallel to the first thereby doubling the total battery capacity and most importantly the output current. Here is how the apparatus can be weld. I strongly advise before the process to clean and degrease the welding location and the plate. I think the result is excellent. It is possible to tear off plate without damage. By the way, here is the circuit of the welder only without a relay. In this case, at the output of the chip NE555 added a repeater based on a complementary pair of medium power transistors BD140 and BD139. But the relay is no worse. For several dozens of welding cycles, the relay has proven itself only from the best side. Also, people asked if such a system could be used as a spotter. In other words, a spot welding of car body. This is perhaps the most urgent question. First, good spotter costs a lot of money. Second, not everyone can make it by himself. But this version is extremely simple, does not contain transformers and costs a little. Just connect the battery and begin to weld. Theoretically, the circuit will work if it is powered by a car battery with a capacity of 75 amperes hours or more. If you want to see a project of the spotter with this principle of work, don't forget to leave your feedback and share it with your friends in social networks. All the necessary information for assembling and links to accessories can be found in the description. Now I say goodbye. With you was Kaisian TV.